यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन एबस्ट्रैक्ट थीसिस सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस पार्शियल इंट्रेक्शन now what is what do you mean by partial interaction let's say we have two visuals and bo there are more than one fields which is passing and i want one of them not to pass that's what we call partial interaction now the partial interaction feature is not supported in power bi so let's first of all understand what their partial interaction is and then try to you know see if we can do it or not so i convert it into a bar visual i created a month here visual i convert it into a bar visual then i go ahead and take a category item category okay so i created a visual and let me convert into a line visual and let me duplicate this now what happens is when you click on this visual basically any interaction and right now the interaction is happening now because these are line visual so in case of line visual the only kind of interaction which can happen is the filter interactions so i'll show you that also what does that mean so the only kind of interaction which can happen is a filter interaction so what is happening here category 2 is getting filter category month here is filtering now if i want to turn off the interactions on date now that's not possible in drill through we have a capability where we can say okay don't pass a particular item so i can pass category i don't pass the date to the other page and that will make drill through possible you know only by passing category and not passing date but when we go to view and we are click here in, on the um, inter when we click on this one format and we click on edit interaction now we don't have any option here like partial interaction we can either interact or disable the interact so i can say okay we don't interact or we interact or even when you have a bar visual or when you have table visual you can have like uh you know highlight but there is no partial one here now the thing is sometime we might require partial one now this is something which we have to solve by modeling uh there is no direct uh approach here available direct thing which i can tell you okay do it like this and it will happen yes drill through you can try out if that can solve the purpose you can control what you want there but for this one we have to do little bit of modeling and then we require major also so i have just done some adjustment in the visual so let's go ahead so i have a date table and i do, i don't want to pass the date so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this date table so i copy this script and that's why i prefer to create a date table via, via script i create a new date table and i'll call it date 1 once i got the date 1 table okay and i'm going to join it with my visual and so i go here first of all i need to sort out the month year because i'm going to use month year from here and i need to sort it correctly so i call month year sort so this is done then i go to the uh, my all tables i see there is i just drag it and see if there is a relationship between date and any table no it there is no relationship so i go and join this with my sales date sales date is the date which is uh, the date where my other table is also joined and i come back here and i also mark date table as a date table date one also as a date table date is already marked as a date table now before i take this on excel let me show you one major which is i'm going to use here so one of the thing which we can do is okay i don't want to pass date so i can create a major which ignores date isn't it so i can always create a major which says okay remove filter of the date so let's create that major and see what happens so we say net all date or remove date calculate net remove filters date remove all the filters from the date okay now this let's take into this visual the second visual here instead of net let's take net all date okay on the y axis so we take a net all date on the y axis and what do you see you see all these you know straight lines 
I click here and I still see one dot. This is because if you filter the date, if you filter the date and even if you say all, the entire data will be shown on that one particular date. So this is not going to work out. And when we are looking at all remove filters date here uh, in this visual where we have the net all date, you can see that I'm not getting the correct one. Now in this visual where I'm not getting the correct one, let me remove this month here and let me take it from the other table. Okay. So let me take this month here from the date one table. I put the month here here and then I remove the other month here. Now you start seeing the same values as the other visual. See 199 in this last one in the month of March 199k 309k these are the values 199 309k same values we are getting. Now if I filter here this is only filtering the category not filtering the date. See if I filter on the other one third one everything is same the only thing is it's filtering the category not the date but if i go here and click still it is one dot the reason it is one dot that because the other major is not changed so other is still net fine so here we are using a major which is net all date so we have to create one more major net all date one so we'll create net, net date all date one and here we'll give the table date one. We have date space one. So let's give date space one. We got a date space one table. Now in this visual, the second visual, let's instead of net, just take net date one. Let's find out where is that major. We got this major net date one. Let me replace it. And now let me filter this. So there also you can see that I'm only filtering the categories. I'm not filtering the date. So now this is a modeling plus a major, which is solving the purpose. Now there's a partial interaction, which is happening. Now partial interaction is not because of the interaction feature here. Partial interaction is because we have created our modeling and we have created our majors in such a manner that only half of the information or the partial information is used by other visual. So how do you like this idea? Go ahead and try this out. Do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.